All right guys, so today's video is a little different. It's not for my usual subscribers because most of you I know drive a Civic Si. This video is really for anyone who follows my videos on learning to drive a manual or something along those lines. A lot of people ask what is hill start assist and what is brake hold? So I'm gonna start off with hill start assist first. Now my neighborhood has a ton of hills, so this is actually gonna be really easy to show you what it is. I'm gonna come up to a hill right here. Hill assist is something, or hill start assist, is something that you don't turn on. It's on from the factory, it's just there. When the car senses it's on an incline, like I am right now, it's not even a very steep incline, but when it senses it's on an incline and you come to a complete stop, I can let go of the gas and not roll backwards. So right now I have my foot on the brake, I have the car in first gear, clutch in, but I'm holding the brake so I'm not going anywhere. If I release the clutch, which I'll do right now, you'll see I didn't move for a few seconds. That's all hill start assist is. So see how I just started there? I take, well, I'll wait for this person, but I take my foot off the brake and it gives me time to start moving so I don't roll backwards. Now that comes in handy when you're driving and you come up to a red light on a hill and what if a car pulls up behind you? Well, if you didn't have hill start assist, when you took your foot off the brake, you'd immediately start rolling backwards if the person behind you is really close, you're gonna probably hit them. You're gonna back right into them before you can get going. And that's kind of a nerve wracking thing because if you don't wanna hit them, one, you're gonna have to be extremely flat fast, and two, you're gonna have to literally give it so much gas and just dump the clutch on the hill to make sure that you know you have enough power to get moving on this hill and not hit them. If you give it too little and you stall and roll back a little bit, you're gonna hit them. So it's just a really nice feature to know that hill start assist is there. So here's another hill in my neighborhood. If I come to a complete stop, I can let go of the brake and it holds me. Press the brake again, let go of the brake, give it a little bit of gas, give it some clutch and go. I didn't move backwards at all on this hill. So it's such a nice feature to have. Back in the 70s, when they didn't have that, you were trying to get a 3,000 piece, 3,000 pound piece of metal to start rolling up a hill. It's not the easiest thing to do, especially because the transmissions of today are nothing like the transmissions they had 40 years ago. They're way different. I mean, synchros weren't even a thing back then. So you'd put it into gear, and that's where, the, if you've ever heard the term grinding gears comes from, you're trying to find the gear. Because you're trying to find the point where the two gears will mesh up right so you can actually get it into gear. Nowadays, that's the thing of the past. You can just shift it into gear and not have to worry about it. The Synchro's do an amazing job. So the transmissions are nothing like they were back then. But Hill Start Assist is a fantastic invention. And the next thing is gonna be brake hold. So in my car, I have a little button here that says brake hold. If I press it, it says brake hold system standby. If I stop the car, I'm just gonna stop anywhere, come to a complete stop, a little light pops up that says hold. So if I take my foot off the brake, it's gonna hold me right here. My foot is not on the brake whatsoever. My foot is still on the clutch, even though I'm in neutral. So let me take my foot off the clutch. I'm not moving at all. If I press the clutch back in, put it in first, give it a little bit of gas and start moving again, it automatically disengages the brake. So this comes in handy when you're sitting at a red light during maybe during rush hour traffic and instead of just playing with your feet the entire time while trying to go, stop, go, stop, you can go, stop, take your foot off the brake, and when it's time to go again, just start going. Now, to be 100% honest, I don't use brake hold 
all the time. Because to me, I feel like I'm missing a part of driving by not holding the brake. And I don't want to lose like that alertness, that awareness when I'm not doing something while driving. So I really like having brake hold as an option, but I probably use it maybe two days out of the month if I want to put it on, I'm feeling lazy or something like that, but I don't use it that often. The best feature for a manual car is hill start assist. Even when I first got this car, people were like, oh, how hard is it to get started on a hill? I'm like, it's got hill start assist. And they'd be like, what? You're not even driving a manual at that point. And my dad would just start laughing because he's driven this car and he knows what it's like to drive a car with a manual transmission when it doesn't have brake hold versus a car that does have brake hold. It's like you don't even think about it. It's such a nice feature to have that I don't care if I have to start on a huge hill, flat surface, downhill, anything. I know that a steep uphill is going to be exactly the same as starting on a flat surface. And having that peace of mind is something that's really great. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always here to answer your questions and I hope you guys learned something from this video.